So, I want to talk about a topic that I get regular pushback on. And uh, I'm not faulting the people because, you know, that's the limited awareness that we all are subjected to when we come into this dimension. But the topic of contention is when I say, you know, we are source God consciousness, or we are God in human form, in matter, the invisible made matter, um, they always come back with the argument that we humans create nothing, right? We are the creation. We're not creators, but we are the creation. Therefore, we are not God. <clears throat> that makes perfect sense from the shrunk down awareness of the human density, where we have forgotten who and what we are, and we fully identify with the human form that we are. Our full identification is with the human form. That means when our human form dies, that's the end of it. We go into non-existence. Now, I'm sure you're going to protest that too and say, but I am spirit. I will continue forever. Okay, let's look at your cognitive dissonance here and make up your mind. What are you? Are you the human manifestation? Or are you the intelligent consciousness that animates the human? If you are the, in the intelligent consciousness or spirit that animates the human, then you are God. You see, you are God in the flesh. You are the invisible spirit that has taken on matter, form. So how does this work now? Um, why are we in the perception that we as humans create nothing? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. We are immersed into the dimension of time, space, and matter. And time being the main element here. With the dimension of time, we have delay. Scientifically, one could use the example of the speed of light. What is it? 187,000 years, light years, for light to show up in our dimension. Just using that as an example, light and thought are the same thing. So, if it takes light or consciousness to appear in this dimension 187,000 uh, light years <laughs> in in between the starting point and the end point there's a big gap a big period of time where as a human we lose consciousness and we forget so, apply this now to your thoughts and words today. You think a thought and you speak a word which is frequency. It carries light. And that word, as it comes out of your mouth, has to travel 187,000 light years to reach its destination. Well, as a human, you're going to have, you have forgotten what you said within 10 minutes, right? Because we are such unaware 
beings. We forget what we feel and what we say within minutes. Yet our creative word, the resonance, is floating out there to its destination of creating something. And then you add in the words of everyone else and it creates a word soup. It creates an energetic soup, a cosmic soup that will create something. But because of the dimension of time that we're in, the manifestation of that will be very, very, very delayed. Although, now, time is speeding up or being shortened. And so, sometimes what we think and speak will show up in our life within 10 minutes. So manifestation happens more quickly. That is the creation process of the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and everything was created by the Word. As human beings, with God consciousness encapsulated in a body of matter, slowed down, light slowed down into matter, congealed, it takes time to create something. It takes time for our creation, for our word to manifest. The only difference is the difference in dimensions. Right? So, to recap, we are God. We are the God consciousness that has taken on a body in the dimension of time. Where time, where everything is delayed, creation is delayed, everything is slowed down. That's why you never see a rock move from its place. Its vibration is so slow, you can't see any movement. And yet it is alive. How did it get into that position? Right? So... Yeah, it's complex. It's more complex to than just to just simply think of it as, you know, we're the human being, and we're di we're disconnected from the God consciousness, and therefore we create nothing. No, we create everything. It's just because where we are situated is not showing up to where we remember. So again, you are the God consciousness. You are the Word. You just have slow, have been slowed down by the dimension of time, time, space, and matter. So think about this. Everything you say creates. That's why Jesus said, "You shall give an account for every idle word that you speak." An idle word just means speaking things in non-awareness. Become aware of what comes out of your mouth. Become aware. Become aware. Become an aware being of consciousness. Become God. <laughs>